Good morning. My name is Valentine Mbamal. And actually, today we are going to present an estimation of capital cost. And to present it today with me is uh, Brian Heflin, Jibin George. Uh, actually, we want to talk about the uh, capital cost, and I will go about by uh, defining capital cost. Um, actually, capital cost is the, that cost that takes care of the capital aspect of a project. When we talk about a, a project, you know, there are a lot of things that goes into play, and the capital aspect of a project is the major aspect of a project. That is the equipment and other things that is being associated with it. And mostly, that is the aspect of a project that most of the financial institutions are much, much open to uh, sponsor. And for the fact is that uh, that is something, they, they have something that they can be able to fall back on in terms of if the project does not move forward. So what, and in our outline today, we're going to talk about the, the classification of a capital uh, cost estimate, estimation of a purchased equipment cost, estimating the total uh, capital cost. In the class, classifications of the capital cost estimate, order of magnitude uh, estimate. This is also known as a ratio or a feasibility estimate. And the data that have been needed is the cost information from previous uh, project, uh, from previously built plant. And then uh, these data have been adjusted in order to be able to suit the present day uh, reality. And the diagram that has been needed is a, a block flow diagram. Then there is another the study estimate. This is also known as a major equipment or factor that estimate. And then the data that are being needed is um, the major equipment found in the processes. And then um, each equipment is roughly sized and approximate cost is being determined. Equipment uh, total cost is a factor to give the estimated uh, capital cost. And the diagram that is being needed here is the process uh, flow diagram. The preliminary design estimate, this is also known as the cost estimate. And the data that is being needed is a accurate sizing of the equipment that is involved in the, in the in the plant and then the utility estimate and then the diagram that is being needed is the process flow diagram the vessel sketches for major equipment preliminary uh, pilot plant and elevation uh, diagram the definitive estimate this is also known as a project control estimate and the data that is being needed is a primary specification for all equipment utilities instrumentation, electrical, and off -sites. Then the diagram that is being needed is the final uh, uh, process flow diagram, the vessel sketches, the pilot plant, elevation diagrams, utility balance, and the preliminary uh, P and ID diagram. So detailed estimate. This is also known as a firm or contractor's estimate. Actually, this is the, the final, this is the major thing that is being needed for the, for the process uh, to carry on with the process, uh, uh, the plant, the building of the plant, and the data that is being needed is a complete engineering of the process, all related off, off sites and utilities. Then the diagram here is uh, the final uh, process flow diagram, the P and ID, the vessel sketches, pilot plan, elevation diagrams, and piping isometrics. Um, at this stage, actually, that is uh, when the, the construction of the plant will, uh, will be initiated. Estimation of a uh, purchased equipment cost. Cost of major equipment must be known. The, the PFD, the material and the balance and the, the material and energy balance of construction. But uh, the, does the PFD, the material and energy balance, the materials of collect, uh, construction have been selected, equipment sizing through capacity, current price provided by suitable uh, sellers and cost data from previous purchases, and then summary from graphs available for various types of uh, very, uh, common equipment. Then effect of a uh, capacity on purchased equipment cost, and the relationship between a purchased cost and a, a unit of capacity is a um, CA over CB equals to A subscript small a and A subscript small b, then a uh, then multiplied by exponential n. Actually, this n here represents uh, the, the sixth, tenth rule, whereby the n, that the subscript n is being replaced by 0 0.6. And then where a is the equipment uh, cost, c is the purchased cost, then n is the cost exponential. 
So in this area, um, the N is being replaced by 0 0.6. Actually, that is what makes it to be what we call uh, the sixth tenth rule. And then A is the equipment with required attribute, and B is the equipment with base attribute. Yeah, and then uh, the larger the equipment, the lower the cost of equipment by cost of capacity. The effect of time on purchased equipment cost, the Marshall and uh, Smith equipment cost index or the chemical engineering plant cost index, actually that is what is being used mostly in estimation of uh, equipment cost. And then the cost of previous years are used to estimate the present cost. And then the formula we can use that could be used is a C2 equals to C1, and then I2 divided by I1, and where C is the purchased cost, then I is the cost index, then 1 is the best, uh, best time when the cost was known, that is actually the previous cost of the equipment, and then 2 is the present cost of the equipment. And then the factors, evaluated, uh, factors affecting evaluation of capital cost. One is the direct project expenses, indirect project expenses, contingency and fees, and then auxiliary facilities. So to talk on the estimating total capital cost, I'm inviting a GB judge. <laughs>